Hey, what's up, YouTube? Pastor Matt here. Uh, scratchy voice today. My throat is not doing so well. Um, but I got an interesting request to do a 360 degree tour of my office, and I thought, well, hey, why not? Why not do that? Um, if you're interested, and somebody commented on my YouTube page that I should do this, and I thought, well, I better, I better go ahead and do the office tour before I leave the office. Uh, you already know that we've announced that we're taking a new call to Gospel Fellowship Church in Valencia, Pennsylvania. And so this beautiful office right here in Brooksville, Florida at Faith Church will one day no longer be mine. And I will pass it off to, to the next preacher of the congregation here at Faith, so they'll take over this office. Uh, but a lot of the stuff, of course, is going to go with me. So I figured, hey, let's go ahead and do a tour of this office, and it'll be nice to remember it by... Uh, even though I still have several more weeks to go here in this office before I let it go. Well, as I give the description, everything that I'm going to talk about will be over my right shoulder. Uh, so whatever I'm framing up on the camera will spin all the way around and look at the office. I'll always be talking about the object over my right shoulder. Uh, you can see three, um, three paintings or uh, interesting artifacts there on the wall. The one that's right about here is my Jonathan Edwards Resolutions poster that my wife got for me, framed that up for me when I got my doctoral degree. Of course, my dissertation was on Jonathan Edwards' Theology of Joy. I'll post that link in the description if you're interested in that, but it's nice to have the resolutions there in my office to remind me. And then the long rectangular one above that is actually an old painting of the prophets of Israel that my dad found for me, believe it or not, by the side of the road. It was all dinged up. It was broken glass. Um, the frame was destroyed, and my dad got new glass, fixed the frame, reattached the painting, and so it has all the all the prophets of Israel, uh, Moses in the center holding the law. Can't really see it from this perspective, but it is a incredible piece. And then this, uh, this next one right here is um, a Hebrew scroll that my friend got for me when I graduated from Ashland Theological Seminary. Um, it's probably one of those deals online where they cut it up and sell it, <laughs> but, uh, which is terrible to do to a scroll. But this one probably isn't much more than, uh, I don't know, 100 or 200 years old. Uh, it's not like some ancient artifact that goes back to the times of the prophets themselves or anything like that. But it's neat to have a Hebrew scroll, even though it's, uh, for me, not very readable. Oh, cool, they're doing an alarm testing here in the, in the office. We're putting in some new stuff, so ignore any alarm sounds. Uh, spinning around here a little bit further, you can see some of my books, and I have my books categorized by uh, topic and category. This happens to be my philosophy section, as well as my history section. And there is another interesting painting right here over my right shoulder. That's a painting of a evangelical reformed church in Ukraine, which, believe it or not, was destroyed by the communists and then uh, rebuilt later on. And the very same cross, which they cut down from the top of the steeple, was found still there on the roof uh, so many decades later, and they were able to reattach it and put it back up. Uh, closet over here, over my right shoulder right now, is a painting that my daughter did, Soraya. She's a beautiful artist. Um, so she did that in an art class, and so I framed that up. And then just out of sight down here, I have a lot more books and uh, other stuff. That's my um, biblical um, commentary section and Bible dictionaries, those sorts of things. Now, one of my favorite features of my office is something that not everybody has, and that would be your own bathroom. Uh, I love having my own bathroom in my, in my study because my study is right behind the sanctuary. So when I get ready for church, I can use the restroom and then I can head right out, walk right onto the platform. And if any emergencies come up, and you know sometimes they do, you can walk right off the platform, come back to your own study, close the door, use the restroom, and then, <laughs> and then go back. But that's probably more information than you wanted to hear. All right, coming over here, I have a lot of old books and Bibles. Um, this nice set right here is all of Spurgeon's sermons, which my mentor, Dr. Bellamy, gave to me before he passed away. And then I have some other various old books. I've got some Psalters, um, some old Bibles, and uh, this is the anti nicene Fathers. So some cool stuff there. Now here's actually my desk, and I'll get out of the way so you can, so you can look at my desk a little bit, my computer. 
some books here which I consult regularly. That alarm's going off again. That's cool. Oh man, I cannot believe they would test that <laughs> during this. Uh, more books over here. Here's another painting that Soraya did. This is uh, that's um, Moby Dick, which I had her paint for me because R.C. Sproul has that in his office. Um, if you've ever been to Ligonier, you can go in his office and he has a huge painting. So I had Soraya do the same painting only, only to a smaller scale. Um, here's my dry erase board. There's not much on it right now other than... Uh, bunch of notes on Jonathan Edwards, but I use this for planning my days, planning my weeks, trying to get my tasks in order. I'm the kind of person that likes to write stuff down and get stuff done. And uh, you will notice that the dry erase board is just within easy reach of my desk, and that's intentional so that as I'm working, I think of something to do, I can write it up on the board and then get right to it later on. All right, moving around. We're almost home now. Come to another major section of my books and commentaries. This would be my longest section of bookshelves. There's three different sets there. Uh, right here, all my biblical commentaries. Right here, all my theological works. And then that furthest one behind my shoulder, that would be all my cool Bibles, my Bible collection, and then my personal notes, uh, copies of my own books, and then my copies of my journals and, stuff and such. A um, couple of academic things over my right shoulder right now is my doctoral robe, uh, which I, I got for graduating from Reformed Theological Seminary. Um, we had our commencement at St. Andrews, which is where Sproul preached before he died, so that was pretty awesome. And then uh, some degrees and stuff. Uh, there's my, my uh, ordination certificate and my doctoral degree up there. And then over here, my master's degree and my bachelor's degree bachelor's from Malone University uh, and my master's from Ashland Theological Seminary. All right, well, that pretty much takes you through my office uh, 360 degrees. Um, I'll post some interesting links for you in the description of this video. And thank you so much for checking in with me, and we'll talk to you soon. Hope you enjoyed that.